Gus Gus no no killing wagon now. Come in and did it just absolutely right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It is a beautiful, beautiful night. And we're going coyote hunting. I'm getting ready to go pick Guffy up. Um, we're trying to get ready. we got a tournament coming up this next, not this coming weekend, but next. Um, so it'll be a pretty big tournament for us. Um, we have been hunting with a bunch of really, really good guys. And, uh, you know, little money to be won, not a lot, but mainly just bragging rights. So we're trying to get trying to get everything greased up and lubed up, ready to roll for that. Uh, but, man, it's, it's it's a good night. So hopefully the dogs act right and hopefully we shoot good. So we're going to be taking the NSP rifle, 6.5 Creedmoor out. Uh, fat boy tripod the fox pro it's going to be fun um guys if you are in the market looking for thermals looking for night vision looking for tripods um head over to shopapexpredator.com talk to my guy nathan nathan is a really really good dude um he cares more about trying to get you set up with the thermal or the night vision that is going to work best for your budget your style of hunting and where you're located at. He doesn't care nothing about selling the $10,000, dollars dollars units, even though he'll sell them if you want them. Um, and maybe that's what's best for you. I don't know. Uh, he, he just, he's not an up salesman. He wants, he wants you guys to be in what's best for you. So head over, check him out. Let him know Southern Extreme TV sent you. Super nice guy. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, but that's enough of the salesman type stuff. Let's go have some dang fun. Let's shoot some dogs in the face and let's go see what Guffy's up to. All right, we are pulling in to the first spot. Guff just got out and got the gate. And uh, last time we hunted here, we called in. We called in a pair, didn't we, Guff? Yep. Called in a pair and killed both. You hit one running here. Yeah. Guffy smoked one. Guffy's been on it this year. I mean, like, on it this year. So we're going to go up here. Hopefully, we got a little bit of ground we can work with on this farm, which is really, really good. Um, so we're going to get up here and see if we can see if we can get something fired up. Well, guys, Guffy got one over on me. It is not a good night for the thermals, for sure. But we uh, we actually had to gain. There's a creek right where that coyote is at. We had to gain a little bit of distance um, just to get just to get to him and get close enough to get him to poke across this creek. So. Guffy laid the hammer down on him. We're gonna go over here and get this dog drug back. Well, Guff got the coyote. I mean, absolutely dumped him. Would you look at this too? Big, big creek down here. This coyote is soaking wet. The old Fox Pro fired him up enough to get him, get him across this creek. So Guff no, no killing wagon now. He's probably a, I don't know, I'm gonna say he's a 118. Probably a 118. Probably, probably a good 118. I like them 118s. You know, they're like a two year old turkey. They ain't, they ain't real smart yet. Yep. But they're getting there, you know. Guff they got a long beard, but they ain't, they ain't a three year old, you know. Guff, Guff was quick on the trigger right there. I mean, this dog popped up out of the hill and he shot. And he was like, was you not on it? And I was like, well, the, the guy couldn't have been in the field longer than three seconds. He was like, yeah, it was probably about three seconds he was yeah, in there. I've seen him across the tree. 
Yeah, you had to have. I mean, look at that. Holy smokes. But man, yeah, that's a real good dog. That's what I was worried about with. There's a whole bunch of them in there, and I was hoping we could get a pair, uh, the, the, the alpha male and female, to come in. But that a lot of times that male will break free just to start with, um, and that's what happened here. So we'll get him loaded up, and we'll head on to the next spot. He's soaking wet. Dog skinny. Oh yeah. Big old coyote right there, guys. Yep, right there he is. Guff with the old go numero uno. Come in and did it just absolutely right. So we're gonna get him. We got him loaded up. We're gonna head on to the next spot, guys. Hopefully they keep running. Whew. Well guys, that right there was a uh what we thought was going to be a really really epic and awesome night uh first spot we get to we had the same pack of coyotes light up and howl three different times which is rare usually when that happens they're they're fired up and doing it and then we proceeded to go to one two three more spots before we finally heard another coyote and those coyotes we actually had to pretty much beg uh to call or to make a sound um and we had one dog kind of fired up and just he just wasn't gonna do it we think the the wind kind of screwed us a little bit and it, it was kind of torn between whether he was booger barking or if whether he was challenge howling it was kind of in between the two so we we called it out and we guffy seen the dog but and it was trying to circle downwind of us but um never could really get a shot at it and it just it kind of it kind of went that way but we've got one big male down guffy absolutely dropped a hammer on him with the rock river i'm actually at guffy's house now and uh just dropped him off going to bed but man i i just want to thank you guys for hanging out and watching my channel that's that's it for today's video uh means a lot we've got a lot of cool episodes coming up in the future we're actually leaving next weekend we're going to be going for two nights out of state and then we're going to be going two weeks after that we're going to we got a big trip planned we're going to be going to two different states hunting um so we've got four three or four different states lined up to go hunt here in the next uh, four to five weeks and i am super excited to be bringing you guys along for that adventure so um really appreciate it if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button we are trying to grow as big as we can get the hundred thousand subs is our goal uh so really appreciate it thanks for hanging out see y'all in the next episode